What is going on, guys? Andrew Hayes here, back with another review, and today I'm reviewing Bad Tones at the El Royale, which is directed by Drew Goddard and stars Jeff Bridges, Sis Cynthia Irvo, Dakota Johnson, uh, John Hamm, and Chris Hemsworth, and is about these seven strangers who meet at this rundown hotel called the El Royale, and uh, they each have a secret, and, uh, you know, this is over the course of one night, and chaos ensues. Now, uh, I was actually very excited for this movie because of the cast... Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of Jeff Bridges. He's personally one of my favorite actors, and I really like Chris Hemsworth a lot and John Hamm and uh, just a lot of the other people in this cast. But uh, I, I also really like Drew Goddard. I thought he did great with Cabin in the Woods. I really enjoy that movie. And also, um, a big fan of The Martian, which he wrote. So I was... Uh, when I found out he was doing another movie, not only directing it, but writing it, I was interested to see what it would be like, and then the trailers were fantastic, and I just uh, became very excited for this movie. And I gotta say, I very much enjoyed this movie. This movie is a lot of fun, and I gotta be honest, it's probably one of the best that this year has to offer. Uh, and for the positives, as I always start off with, um, I think that uh, the ensemble cast really, really works well together. Uh, I very much enjoyed all their performances, ex uh, especially Jeff Bridges and Chris Hemsworth. Uh, those were the two that really stood out to me, ex especially Jeff Bridges. I think um, he had the probably the most screen time out of everybody. I don't know if that's you know true or not, but um, he very much had a lot of screen time, and I think he... Uh, uh, just his character was the most compelling to me, and his performance was the best to me. But uh, Chris Hemsworth as well, I really enjoyed his character and his performance. Even though his character didn't get a lot of screen time, I very much enjoyed it. And everybody, I thought, did a really good job. Um, you know, John Hamm, Dakota Johnson, they all did really good. Also, the screenplay, probably one of the best of the year. Absolutely love the screenplay. Written by Drew Goddard, I... I Kind of expected it to be a very well-written screenplay because Drew Goddard is a very good writer. Uh, the Martian, uh, he was nominated for that, but that's a very well-written movie. So is Cab in the Woods. And he's just a generally very, very good writer. So I expected that, and I'm happy to say that, you know, it didn't disappoint at all. Also, the direction was very, very well done. I really liked the direction. Of this movie, I thought he did a really good job with the direction, and uh, there are some shots in this movie that uh, just amazed me with how awesome the shots were. There was a lot of sh shots and whatnot, and also the set design was done very, very well. I absolutely love the set design of this movie. Uh, it gave me like an old-timey feel, and I really, really like that. Um... As for my negatives, uh, I, I do think that it is uh, about 2 hours and 20 minutes. I was somewhere around there. And I will say, uh, while the pacing wasn't, like, it wasn't bad per se, but at, at times uh, you could really feel it. And I, I think this movie would have benefited if it was just a little bit shorter uh, and whatnot and uh and that's really the only criticism I have with it. I, I really enjoy this movie. I think that this is a very uh, well-written movie, very well-directed movie. It offers some great performances and great characters. And uh, it's definitely one of the most fun movies I've had this year. This movie really reminds me of uh, Tarantino meets Coen Brothers. Uh, I, I could see similarities from, uh, both of the, both those, uh, you know, both Tarantino and the Coen brothers, even though it is a Drew Goddard movie and I, I, and it's not like a total ripoff, but I could see some inspiration drawn from that. And I really, really appreciated that about this movie. Uh, as for my grade, I do give it an A. Uh, again, it's a very fun movie. One of my personal favorites of the year. Despite uh, the the pacing getting a little jarring at at times, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe to all the kind of fun stuff. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.